Hello, this is Epic Move Studios here with the Blender tutorial. Um, somebody requested that I do a tutorial on um, a Minecraft intro template that I made uh, a while back, a couple months ago. Um, just explaining kind of how to set it up, how to render it, stuff like that. Uh, so, I thought that was a pretty good suggestion since a lot of other intro templates for things that I saw online um, had tutorials on how to use them. So, um, I downloaded this from the link that I gave in the in the description so there would be no differences between the file you'll download and the file that I have here um yeah so uh you'll get this when you open up um yeah no need to worry about these right now uh, unless you're doing it without the video but the video is already here so yeah um anyways we had escape when our mouse is over here uh, in this window if we hit escape, you can see that we're in the 3D viewport. And I'll press middle click. You know, actually, uh, I'll enable uh, screencast keys. So you guys can know what I'm actually doing. should have enabled that before, but that's okay. Screencast keys. Alright. So, uh, this is basically, yeah the way um, this is the scene that it is it's pretty simple you have this shape over here a circle behind and stuff but what we're worrying about is the cube since you're adding your own head in um, now you can see that it's completely white all right you have all this stuff this doesn't you don't need to worry about this that was that won't be seen in the uh, in the render but anyways you can see this is completely right white not right white this is wrong you don't want it that way um, anyways, so that's where your Minecraft head would go. So if we go to solid, all right, back to solid viewport, uh, just so you don't have to keep rendering that, and you click right here, which is the material node, m not material node, material settings. I'm in cycles mode. Anyways, um, yeah, you can see the materials, and if you click on this, this is item zero zero one. That's what it's called. Um, that's just the items like the diamond pickaxe, sword. No, maybe not pickaxe. Uh, helmet, diamond, sword, stuff like that. That's basically it. And but this material is the one we're worrying about, which is the head material. All right. So if we go into this square here, uh, that's the texture panel. If we go into that, by the way, sorry about my audio quality. Uh, not there. Good. If we go into the texture panel, all right, and we go down, go down here to the image so uh, you get to the tab that says image alright so it's tab that says image and if we click here which is the open image the file thing alright then you can just find your file in this um, the file browser that blender comes with which I actually think is really nice this is my favorite file browser um, better than the default one included with uh, this version of Debian Linux but anyways so I'm gonna go to where my file is located desktop and just open the image so now you can see that my skin appears um, this is UV unwrapped so that the head and everything uh, will be in the correct place so you don't have to actually do any texture editing or things like that um, basically Basically, everything will be where you want it to be, all right. And that's that's good. That that's what you want. Um, the thing is, though, with this, um, one thing you w might want to do if you have uh, like a mask over your face. So, like this is my face, but I might have uh, like the part of a hoodie here. Um, then you'd want to uh, put that in Photoshop, kind of copy it um, so that it's over the face in the correct way because this is just taking the face texture uh, that's the way it is uh, yeah if you have any questions about that just ask me um, and so yeah let's go back anyways so if you go back to here right and we can just hit F12 to render this you can see that it looks pretty good that that looks pretty snazzy you know alright now there's the problem of actually having to render it out Alright, so if we go over here into where the camera is, alright, that's the render tab. That's that's where all your render settings are, alright? 
So, if we go to the tab that says output, output, all right, and we click the little file icon again, then we can go and save it as something. I'll just save it as intro, intro video. Sorry, I'm using one hand, so I'm typing slow because uh, I'm holding the mic in the other. Anyways, so intro video, we don't have to put a uh, file extension on it because uh, Blender will do that automatically. And let's just, it should already be an AVI raw, so an AVI file, Avi, some people call it that, I don't know. Anyways, and so yeah, now you have that. But if you hit F12, that's only rendering one frame, not all of them, all right? So what you're going to want to do is go into the render uh, render tab up here by the files file and hit render animation now that's also control f12 which is what i use because it's it's easy f12 render control f12 render animation so let's hit control f12 all right you can see circles getting bigger as we zoom in and yeah so this is looking pretty pretty good. This is looking really good actually. Um, I like my new CPU that can render things a lot faster than I did with my old laptop. Yeah. Anyways, so this is it's looking really awesome right now. So I'm gonna hit Control C. Control, no, that's Linux. Control Z. No, escape. Escape. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Control C for java stuff like that and think, yeah but anyways so if we uh, we're finished with that now we can just let's save this all right we're finished with it that's all done now we can just go to a uh, video editing tab just to view our image our video this isn't anything you can you don't you don't have to do this this is optional let's just see how it turned out so we're going to add this is also also how you add sound to it if you want um add sounds and stuff like that drag them in not too hard to figure out but we're gonna add the movie alright go back to my temp directory where I saved it and it's intro video 0001 to 0262.avi um, that's frame 1 to frame 262 that's just how they do it alright and you can see that it's pretty short but you can see that uh, the part that we rendered out is there it gets bigger and it rotates now you haven't actually gotten to the head rendering yet but if you render it for a longer time until it's frame 262 then it'll be good all right and the head works and everything so that's that's pretty awesome all right so uh thank you for watching i hope this helped if there's any more questions or if you want to make want me to make another video explaining a certain topic i can do that um yeah Alright, uh, bye.